Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sitch on Virgin Radio. I can't believe you've got the big three. You do indeed. Back from holiday, nice and tanned, and uh, ready to go again. All right, where'd you go on holiday, first of all? Um, Lando. Uh, where have I been? I've been uh, a little holiday with my family, and then a little trip with my friends uh, to Croatia nice. and to the one and only Ibiza. All right, what about you, Oscar? Uh, I spent a week in Portugal with my girlfriend, and uh-huh. uh, the last week I've been back at home in the UK, so... Yeah, nice little break and ready to go again. All now. right. And what about you, Zach? I went to Nashville for our IndyCar race and then followed that up with uh, doing some racing at the Monterey Historics at Laguna Seca in California. Yeah, I wasn't very far away from you. I was so tempted to come up and see you there. Um, Adrian was driving his GT40, wasn't he? He, uh, he was. We had some uh, good time uh, hanging out. It's his first time there, so he's, uh, he's fun to go racing with. All right, well, congratulations. Well done to McLaren this year. It's been a good year. He wants to lead the charge on that conversation. I'll, uh, I'll get started and uh, I'll hand, it over to the, uh, hand it over to the boys. But before I do, we obviously uh, uh, heard about your news here recently and just know that you've got uh, everyone at McLaren Racing uh, cheering, cheering you on and uh, hope to see you at a race soon. So, uh, yeah, how are things going? We've certainly finished the first half of the year a lot better than we started it. Uh, we have a, a pretty nimble a race car now that still has a, a lot of room for improvement, but uh, it's great to see Lando and Oscar uh, getting back on the podium, which is where we'd hoped we would be. So uh, really excited for the second half of the season. Yeah, all right, Lando, uh, you pick up on that if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, this is exactly like Zach said, we, we definitely didn't start in the best way, but I think we, we knew, we expected it. Uh, we said it and made it very clear from the beginning, but uh, the team have done an excellent job to turn things around as much as they... They have, and we've you know we've scored multiple podiums, um, and uh, we're fighting a lot more up with the with the big guns. So we're we're on a good roll at the minute. Um, many things to to come this season, and uh, we're on a strong point. So we'll we'll continue where we left off, and and continue to fight for some very good points, and uh, hopefully more podiums. Right, Oscar, do you want to give the other teams an inkling of how come your car's so good now and what they might want to do? I mean, the name of the game is just put more downforce on it and make it slipperier in a straight line, which is uh, <laughs> easy. what we're, we're trying to do. Um, you know, we've still got a few things we, we want to work on, but I think we've got a, a much better baseline uh, starting point for, for where we want to go in the future now. So, um, yeah, like Lando said, hopefully we can continue to go forward, fight for some more trophies and, uh, and have a good second half of the year. Now, you are the fans' favourite team, and I'm sure the other teams wouldn't argue with that and don't mind me saying that. Uh, is the vibe... Is, it's very hard to fake a vibe, you know, like you seem to have, you guys. Um, what's going on? Who creates the magic? You know, it's often about, um, you know, the, the, the leader, the culture. It's really important for a company or a collective to have a fantastic culture. You know, and they do say grinners are often winners. Can you talk a bit more about that, first of all, Zach? Uh, I think um, we've got a great uh, racing team in in garage environment. Of course, that's led by having uh, two great drivers who, who, you know, create the atmosphere. (laughs) And uh, but, you know, we have a lot of fun. We race cars, so we we stay grounded in. uh, We're all very appreciative to be doing what we're we're doing. Um, We're all very competitive. I think we all love the history of McLaren and, and want to make history uh, going forward. And, and so to be able to do it with Oscar and, and Lando and, and everyone on the team, uh, I think that um, that's driving us a lot forward. And it's what helped in the uh, start of the year when things were tough. Uh, everyone really rallied together. And so it's great to be getting these results together. Yeah, you know, and smile through the storms. Don't, you know, that's because as, as we know, night follows day and day follows night and things do change. And if you're going through tough times, just keep going and you'll come out the other side. You just got to stick with it. Lando, you do seem to smile an awful lot. I mean, you're giving um, you're giving Ricardo a run for his money, you know, in the Grinners are Winners um, mm-hmm. the stakes. T- tell, us about, tell us about the vibe there. Tell us about... The, the fun you seem to be having all the time and how that helps and how that frees up the flow and takes the pressure off, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a balance. I wouldn't say I smile all the time. <laughs> um, I wasn't smiling at the beginning of the season, but it's... Um, I, 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 it's my it's my job, but it, I, I can't call it that, right? It's um, I just love doing what I do, and I want to enjoy every minute, even when it's, let's say, not a, a great weekend or it's been a tough weekend. I still want to enjoy the fact that I'm going out and racing Formula One cars and 
I'm just doing what I love. So I guess I, yes, I, I smile a lot, but there's still a lot of tough times. And um, even this season, we've had to come together a lot, a lot of, through a lot of it, um, keep the mechanics team, keep the, the whole team motivated to, to continue to push on. And as soon as you kind of get that little inkling, that little taste of some more success, um, it kind of spirals from there in, in a good way. And uh everyone starts to to want it a little bit more and I think that's what we've been able to, to end the first half of the season on. So, I uh, yeah, I mean, I, I try to smile as much as I can. I, I can't do it all, all the time, but uh, I just love doing what I'm doing. I think it's uh, the coolest thing in the world, so um, it's hard, uh, hard not to smile sometimes. Yeah, would you go along with that, Oscar? Yeah, I would. I think for me being my first year, obviously, it's, um, yeah, it's been a whirlwind. It's been a, a busy first half of the season, so the, the summer break was a, a nice little time to reflect, but... Um, yeah, like Lando said, we're doing what we love, um, what we've wanted to do since we were a little kid. But at the same time, we spend pretty much half of our year at a racetrack. And, and you know, you've got to make sure that you're you're having fun. Otherwise, you're spending six months of, of every year, uh, you know, uh, wondering what you're doing. So, um, yeah, I'm loving it, especially when we're, we're now fighting further at the front as well. <clears throat> It's uh yeah, it's a bit more fun when there's some trophies waiting at the end if you get it right. All right, let's play Zach versus. Okay, so Zach versus Oscar and Lando. So first of all, we'll ask Oscar and Lando a question, then we'll decide the winner, and then we'll put that answer up against Zach. So first of all, Oscar and Lando, the first vehicle you actually got behind the wheel of. So the first actual real vehicle that would go that you got behind the wheel of. First of all, Oscar. The first vehicle, it was... One of the, when I was in F4, one of the race team's vans to learn a manual in the car park. <laughs> Good, at I like Hatch. it. I love that. I love that. All right. Um, what about you, Lando? For me, it would be um, a Rover. A oh. Rover, uh, I think it was 250 quid. Um, yeah, which one rover, do you know? Um, it's just a rover. Yeah, just a rover. Yeah. A rover. Don't ask me these complicated P5, questions. P5, P6, so classics. Uh, um, look, I was like six or seven years old at the time, so I have no idea. But um, a rover around the field, it was it was our rally car at the time. So oh, that's nice. Why I don't okay, know hang on a minute. It's getting cooler. Okay, I, th- I thought Oscar was hands down with the van there in the car, the team van in the car park in F4, or the 250 quid rover uh, that was a rally car around the fields. Um, what do we think? Rachel Vassos, which one wins? I think because because Lando was six at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, give it to Lando. Right, so <laughs> so Lando, you're in the final against Zach. Zach, what was your first vehicle? A Volkswagen Jetta. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Zach. 16 valve, 16 valve. <laughs> oh, 16 count? valve, 16 valve, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> See, the thing is, I actually think, I think Lando wins this one, but mm. they always get the credit for everything. So, yeah. uh, do we think Zach? I go for Zach. Zach wins that Zach. one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. Okay, so one nil to Zach. Okay, so Zach versus Oscar and Lando. Um, Lando, first of all, uh, on sure. this one. Lando, what are you best at other than Formula One in your life? Wow, um, really not many things at all. <laughs> Come on. It's I've seen a, you playing golf. golf. Yeah, golf. I've seen you playing golf. I thought you might say golf. I mean, me and Zach are on an even level here, so... He probably will say golf as well. Well, he might not. Yeah. He might not say golf. You've got to wait All and business. see. He will just say business. But uh, yeah, well, yeah golf. Golf for me. Golf. How good are you at golf? I'm not that good. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I can have a good game. Yeah, but d- um, I'm getting better. Because of your position in life uh, and your profile, I presume you get to play some pretty handy courses with some pretty um, well-known I names. Uh, I do. Uh, a round of golf you've already played to take to your grave with someone. Where and who? With whom? Um... I'll say with Zach Brown, uh, Augusta, <laughs> Augusta National. Yep. Well, Georgia. Oh, okay. I would very, have predicted that one. Very wise. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get on Augusta? It's, that is so difficult to you do. you got to know people. you got to know people. <laughs> well, he knows you, Zach. Zach, who the heck exactly. do you know? That's my claim. That's my job to, it's my job to know people. All right, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, Oscar, the, best, the thing you're best at in life other than what you do for a living? I really have no idea. I'm no, I'm no good at golf. I can... At least hit a tennis ball back over the net. Yeah. I played yesterday and it got smashed, so I'm not going to say that. But I see, when you said Portugal, I thought you perhaps were there playing golf, because that is a very golfy place, isn't it? It is a very golfy place, but I just went to the beaches instead. Cricket? Are you a cricket? I'm okay at cricket, cricket. But um, it's lo- Let's I'm not mention the not, cricket, if that's all right yeah. with everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Just, let's just, we're just about recovered from that. What are, I mean, you did start off winning um, championships with remote control cars, I suppose you well, if that if we're counting that, then yeah, then that, that that works. Um, I was pretty handy at that actually. You so, were very handy. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. How handy did that get? What did you win? I won an Australian championship when I was 
I think I was nine years old. What kind of cars the were they? Um, so they're like electric one tenth scale cars. They go pretty quick. They, they go to like probably sixty miles an hour. Wow. On the straights, they're they? they're quick. Were they Tamiya's? Um, I think I was running an X-ray an at X-ray. the time, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, so was, world was, class remote control car racing or playing golf with his boss at Augusta National. So so Oscar Orlando. Oscar. Oscar. He's nine and he's winning national championships with cars going 60 miles an hour. I was even yeah. going to say I'd rather yeah. be with Oscar. <laughs> 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 All right, Zach, you can't have golf, by the way. What the, what's the thing you're best at other than what you do now for a living? Uh, baseball. Baseball? My life. Yeah, really? it's, a, it's a good version of cricket. <laughs> Whoops, I just made some friends there. Stop it. Can you stop it with the cricket chat, please? Uh, pitcher or batter? Batter, for sure. Yeah, okay. What's your greatest moment on a baseball field? Oh, Greatest moment on a yeah. baseball field. Probably hitting the home run as a lefty. So I was a switch hitter. Where? Uh, Los Angeles, Sherman Oaks, Little League. Nice, Sherman yeah. Oaks. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Sherman All right. Oaks. Okay, are we going with very cool, s- sincere um, Los Angelino baseball glory or nine year old remote control future F1 glory? What do you think? Baseball. 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 Zach wins. The, cause Zach wins again. Zach, Zach wins, wins again. Yeah. Dominating. <laughs> All right, one more. This um, is like Alonzo on Stroll. <laughs> are, you, are, you having, are you having fun with this? You're right with this, guys? Yeah, we're happy with this? Yeah. Good. All right. Um, the most starstruck you've been at a Grand Prix, which I know you've got other things on your mind, right? But the most star, because everybody goes to the F1, right? Uh, the most starstruck you've been at a Grand Prix. Uh, Zach, you go first on this one. Mine will have been, and I didn't get a chance to meet him, but uh, was Senna. He was running in uh, between, this was a 91 in Spa, between two motorhomes, and I saw him and went, there's Senna. But uh, never got a chance to meet him. That's pretty cool. I mean, good luck, boys. <laughs> <laughs> What's really cool about that is you didn't get to meet him and it was pre you being who you are now in F1. That is super cool. As a fan, was that? Or were you working? Uh, fan. Fan and, and racing myself. But okay. I was, it was a fan moment for me. All right, I love that. I love that. Okay, what about you, Oscar? Um, I would have to say uh, when I was a grid kid in 2015, um, I was holding Danny Kvyat's flag. He broke down on the formation lap, but I got to see all the... Um, all the other drivers there, like right in front of me uh, in the national anthem. So, um, so yeah, that's probably my these are biggest good, aren't they? moment. Yeah. What I love about these is they're pre they're pre you guys now. Um, good luck, Lando. I'll give you a couple more <laughs> seconds to think about yours. Um, a grid kid. How do you get to be a grid kid? That's like being a ball boy or a ball girl at Wimbledon. How how, how does that happen? Um, well, I happen to live about ten minutes from the track, so that helped a lot. Right. Um, but they picked a lot of like young go karters at the time. Um, and, and yeah, we got to hold all the flags on the grid. Um, so there was about, well, there would have been 20, yeah, 20 of us at that point. So, so yeah, I was one of the 20. Pretty cool. All right, go on then, Lando. Oh, um, I'm going to have to say it was karting, karting with, uh, with Mick Schumacher and therefore Michael at the time, um, <laughs> 2012, 2013. Um, Mick was my uh, competitor. And uh, Michael was always there. Every weekend he, he went, Michael was there. And uh, I guess when you're like 12 years old, I think, um, then kind of seeing someone like Michael was uh, was pretty insane. And I remember him having a bit of a scrap with one of my teammates, um, Michael, having a go at one of my teammates, uh, who was like 13 at the time or 14 at the time, um, and getting into quite an argument, uh, which was great to watch. So that was um, that was very amusing. But Michael Schumacher, I think, was, uh, they are- was the first... Can I just say that they're three brilliant answers for my stupid little game. That was so, I don't even want to declare a winner. 